What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Today we're we'll focusing on uh, Cam Askew, a spot about prospect profiles, 2015 draft eligible player from South Boston, Massachusetts, and um, skating for Drummondville this year, spurring commitments to both Boston University and Northeastern in um, reverse order, anti respectively. Like using those big SAT words. Um, I want to talk about, from what I know of him, we're from the same town. I haven't lived in Boston full time in about three three years now, and um, the kid was 13 when, when I left, but I remember hearing about how good he was just through the circles, and, um, you know, he's really, I mean, he, he committed to BU, uh, Northeastern, excuse me, the next year at 14, so, you know, really, his heads were being turned, and um, and then decommitted, then committed to BU, now when is that, Now he's up with um, Drummondville, like I said, and he's, he's going to a good situation up there, um, you know, I don't fault him for a second, but, you know, the, the college hockey thing's always you know, considered to be the best option in New England, but with more and more kids going up there at a young age from New England, um, you know, I don't necessarily at a young age, I mean, Charlie Coyle was 19 and up there, and he had a ton of success this half season with St. John, but then, you know, also the, also the cautionary tales, like, um, was it Shea from Marshall? I think he's back up there, though, I can't confirm that, I, I believe he is, but um, let's talk about Askew, and I'll we'll talk about the this successes and failures of the Q from New England. Um, the St. Sebs in 2011-2012, the freshman had 25 points in 28 games and then had 21 points in 12 games with the uh, Valley Junior Warriors in the Empire League. Last year I played for Cushing, step up in competition from St. Sebastian's and I had 35 points in 29 games and then uh, 15 points in 10 games with the Junior Bruins in the Midget Circuit. So, you know, he's a good sized kid, 6 foot 1 and about 180 pounds and he's really, really gifted offensively, sees the ice well, you know, can really quarterback a power play, uh, can shoot the puck well, for, can facilitate for teammates and, um, you know, I think he's also not done growing at age 16 and we think he turned 16 in May, yeah. So, you know, he's not even 16 and a half yet, so he's got you know, probably two and a half years of growing ahead of him. And um, I can definitely see him going in the first round of 2015. I think the 2015 draft is going to be what puts New England back on the map in terms of being a hockey hotbed the same way Minnesota, Michigan, you know, New York has in recent years, and even California to a certain degree. Um, but, I mean, between him, uh, Hannafin, Eichel, uh, a couple of the prep school kids too, um, there's going to be heads turned, and I'm really excited to see you know a kid from my hometown really doing well, and uh, you know going the unconventional route by going to the queue as a developmental uh, step rather than you know high school. I mean the Indiana Ice drafted him with the number one pick in the uh, USHL Futures Draft, so you know there's that. Um, it, it's a completely unorthodox approach if you look at previous hockey players from Saudi, but um, you know to go up there at such a young age, and I think he's really making a good, a good decision. I mean, it's, you know, I know there's always CHL versus, versus the uh, NCAA, but I think in his case, this this kid has a shot to be, um, you know, one of the better players who went in New England in a long time. And given the fact he's going to play against better competition in the queue than he would have at the prep level or even the USHL level, will, um, you know, definitely help him in the eyes of scouts. And I think, like I said, he'll be turning heads and You'll be hearing a lot about him in the next two years. I can see him easily winning the Rookie of the Year in the queue, especially with the number one picks at Wawa not committing to uh, Cape Breton. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's one episode of the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles on Cam Askew of the Drummondville Volunteers. I always mispronounce that. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the off season and beyond. Later, guys.